Hello, this is Falterfire, and today's video is going to be a route and run using a deck that is one of the first decks I actually recorded a video with, um, and that is the Jazz Hands deck. So it has changed quite a bit from where it was when I first played it quite a while ago. Uh, the general idea, the, the general idea of the deck though is still roughly the same, which is that this is kind of a tri-status deck where we have um, Overcharge for Shock. We have uh, Frost from Visions of Frost, Ice Blast, and Ferric Rhyme. I am considering swapping out the Ice Blast for a second Ferric Rhyme. Uh, Ice Blast is, did get buffed slightly, but I think Ferric Rhyme may be a little bit better for us in this particular deck. Uh, because the problem is Ice Blast using up the Shock is often a nuisance because we want to keep the Shock around to get Arcane Detonations. We have Occult Ritual, which is kind of the way that we are playing to get through larger fights. Although I'm also trying out one copy of Pierce, which changed this patch. So it is now used to be deal 8 damage and deal 8 damage again if the thing is frozen. It now deals damage equal to 80% of the target's maximum frost. Which means on bosses that scale up their maximum frost pretty quick, this will deal a lot of damage. Um... I haven't used it. I know there are people in the Discord who have gotten very good mileage out of it, but I hadn't played it yet, so I wanted to. Uh, this is actually my second run with this deck, although the first time around I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I meant to try out Pierce, and I forgot to put Pierce in the deck. So the card pool. Here we have Mana Eruption and Spry Vigor, because uh, I like having mana cards. It's possible we want Twinning Ritual. Although, um, I don't think we have quite enough spells to justify it. We have Peace of Mind, because that is a way to get Adept, it's a way to get Purity. We have Mystical Bloom, which is another way to get Growth. Uh, and it scales off of our max mana, which we will have a lot of, because we should have a lot of Growth. From Raudin's level 4 passive. We have Flash Freeze, which is just a good way to apply a good amount of Frost. Uh... Sanctity and Arcane Silence because they're, they cleanse and both of them have effects that we like having. Frost Wave is AoE Frost and Card Draw. And then Singularity gives us just another way to do a lot of damage. Um, the Singularity maybe should be something else, but it is so often such a good card that it's, it's hard to want to cut it. The other cards I would consider, I kind of want to try Shattering Strike, um, which... I actually do think I'm going to try Shattering Strike, and we'll see how it goes. Because that's another one that has changed that may or may not be good here. So one of the advantages of Shattering Strike... So Shattering Strike removes a Frozen, which means that the enemy will potentially have to... will potentially become unfrozen unless they have enough Frost that they immediately refreeze, which is not that likely. But then it does a lot of damage, and it gains us a, lot of, a decent amount of mana. Um... And this also means that will up their maximum frost, which could make Pierce do more damage. So that could be good. So the other cards, we have my usual suite of all of the mana cards. Uh, we have... See, Mind Seed is probably the weakest of these. I might swap Mind Seed out for something else. Uh, probably... Hmm. Probably if I swapped it out, it would be Runic Focus. Or Secret Cash. I think I like Secret Cash when I like more than I like Mind Seed. I think we have enough growth generation from other cards. We have Spark, which is a card that I want to try here. Uh, partially, I want to make sure that it's not bugged anymore. Uh, but it is Apply Shock, and then we get Man if an enemy is shocked. And since we are otherwise applying Shock, uh, that should help. And we are very fond of picking up plus status cards, and this works well with those. Uh, and the upgrade is enough, sh man enough Shock that it's m way more likely to trip. Icy Chains, another way to scale off max mana. Uh, Read the Ice is card draw plus draw more based on the number of frozen enemies. Uh, Stone Skin, this one is a card that may actually not be what we're looking for anymore. Uh, this deck has moved around a lot, and I think that this card is no longer really in the plan. I think we are more interested in, uh, in just not... In, in having a more permafrost type strategy uh, where the goal is that the enemies just aren't going to get turns. Um, see, so we have, so Frozen Rift changed. It used to be uh, apply 12 arcane, it used to just be 12, apply 12 arcane to every frozen enemy. 
Now it also applies frost to any enemies that aren't frozen, which makes it a lot more versatile and a lot more uh, consistent because it won't just be a dead card. Demonic Greed is uh, good. Just card draw. Contemplate is card draw. Brainstorm is card draw. Uh, Sanctuary is kind of a is kind of a just in case sort of card where if our deck does seem like we are going to need it, um, I think we'll probably put the Overthink in as just more card draw. It's possible I would like to have Reverberation. Um, I don't think that's quite where we're at. Or I think I actually would rather have Trial by Fire than Overthink, and that does kind of split the difference on. Um, Ooh, or we're going to do Arcane Visions and, make, and see if that works for us. Which is just card draw and Arcane. We don't have Predicts, which means we can't get Height of Knowledge going. Um, I think it may be worth bringing in Predict so that we can play Height of Knowledge. Uh, the last card though that I do want to focus on is Witching Blast, because this card got changed and it is now incredibly good. So it does... It gives Arcane Weakness to all enemies and it deals... And it applies a lot of Arcane. Uh, this does... So if the enemy is frozen and shocked, which they often will be, this will often do like 80 damage. It will basically be a singularity um, that doesn't use up the shock. Because when, once it's upgraded, it will apply to Arcane Weakness to all enemies, which we will usually do. Um, trying to think. What card do we cut to make room for... Eh. Hmm. I don't know that I'm feeling the Arcane Visions as much. Because the problem is our, the Arcane on enemies can get high enough that this won't be able to consistently trip. Uh, so if we're going to run Hide of Knowledge, I think we cut the Gamblers for a Predict. And then we may actually want Predict in... Oh, hmm. Would I ever take another Predict? I don't think so. I might take um, a Sublime Blast, though. Although that uses up all of our Shock. What are the are other ways to get Mana Boost? Oh, I think I think Meditate's just back in. Um... <laughs> Because I don't quite have... So in the starting deck, we're using King Contemplation to get our Adept. Um, and then, what do we cut? It might be Mind Blast. Although I really like having that as an option. So Read the Ice is a card that I have been not always super thrilled with. Uh, I think Secret Cash is actually going to go. Okay. So that took a while. Um, see, it was about... Oh, I don't actually have a timer on here. Oh, there I do. Seven minutes. I changed recording programs. Anyway, but now we are good to go. And let's see how the actual run goes. Oh, man. <laughs> the run is over. We got Aether Mantle as our first item. <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. Um... So Aether Mantle means that we now get to do a lot of extra status. In particular, it makes these chilling focuses just nonsense. So we get to apply five frost. There we go. 60 status on turn one of fight one. Uh, go ahead and do that. So Visions of Frost. The thing it does for us is it gives us an ad... That's our other adapt source. And because Vision's Frost is now more expensive, but it applies a lot more uh, Frost than it did. Which makes it a lot easier to use it consistently. Uh, you're not going to get a great sense of this deck based on how this run goes because Aether Mantle is absolutely the highest possible roll uh, for the first item that you could get. Yeah, we are going to take some damage here, but that's fine. And this is why, like, there are some defensive cards in the deck, because until we get some card draw trinkets going, we can sometimes struggle to actually get whatever off. So the thing that happened there, in case you missed it, was um, Aether Mantle did damage, because we applied status, and that's how we got that kill. Uh, Height of Knowledge? That's card draw. We'll try it out. Uh, none of this really does anything. Extra Max Shield is a little bit better than nothing. <clears throat> and away we go. Alright. So that will get us... Oh, Wits is the other thing we need, though. I forgot about that part. So we'll only draw three here. Which... 
That's fine. Let's see. I think we are going to use that. And I don't think it's worth... We, we have to upgrade the occult, the occult ritual for it to start really being worthwhile. So that's a priority, but... Until it happens, we probably won't end up playing the occult ritual much. Because it's just not worth ticking up until then. But so now, uh, with the pierce, for example, uh, this enemy is now at 30 max frost, which means 80% of 30 is 24, but then it is shocked, and Rowden always gets a, what's the bonus? 30% damage bonus against frozen targets. So, lots of damage. Uh, more chilling, so the reason I'm really liking taking these chilling focuses here is because we have the Aether Mantle, they apply five frost to all enemies whenever we play them, uh, which is a completely reasonable number that uh, I don't think it needs any changes. How much is this gonna do? 12? Uh, nice. And then, that doesn't quite kill, that's fine. All right, let's keen contemplation. For the adept, we can then do that. This kill, no, this doesn't kill the front one quite. Let's just knock you off and then the other one will be finished off next turn. Killed with the chilling focuses. We would take a mana dance here. Oh no, not over an icy concentration. Um, None of this is outstanding for us. We'll take the Blood Charm. I don't think there's anything we want to cut here. There's an argument to be made for cutting the Occult Ritual, but I don't think we're quite there yet. I think I am still going to upgrade it. it. It does have value in longer fights. Possibly like this one, although if I had to guess, probably not. Let's get at that. Seems like as good a turn as any to get powerful. Uh, we can get mighty. And so we will get uh, only two cards here. Which is unfortunate. We do probably need more uh, mana boost in order to justify stuff. But yeah, you can see like the amount of frost we're outputting here is kind of absurd. <coughs> Um, play that, okay. and then we will do this. And this should just be like this. So we're not the fastest deck, but we are a very effective deck. Frostwave is great. I want to save my reroll to get Shocking Grasp. A duplication tome, because it is apparently my birthday. Uh, we are upgrading the occult ritual to make that keep that a relevant card. We are cutting the overcharge because we're going to pick up a shocking grasp in this next fight, and we know we are because we have a lucky charm, so we can force it. All right, let's freeze. We're going to freeze both of them. I want to put more frost on you, I think. Yeah, we may end up cutting the height of knowledge. Oh, whoops. I did that, and then I wasn't thinking about the fact that I wasn't going to be able to afford anything I drew. That's fine. And then... I'm just going to duplicate this, because we can then just kill that one. And we'll kill that. Easy. Shocking grass. So Shocking Grasp is a good card in a lot of decks, but in particular, uh, we are a deck that gets value out of, I think we are going to use that. We are a deck that gets value out of um, applying status in general, and we get pretty good value out of having a way to, to make sure things get shocked. So. And we get those 20 damage detonations because uh, we are freezing. Right. 
Let's see, is this going to be lethal? Yes. Oh, not quite. Now it is. Um, Voltaic Frost is just a mountain of frost, but adaptive spell is card draw. Dam more damage against frozen targets or the mana crystal. These are both very good options. I think we're going to take the shoulder pads because we're more likely to have co competition over those uh, trinket slot over those accessory slots. I think we are going to cut the hide of knowledge because we don't have. I forgot about the wits portion of it, uh, and I don't think we have uh, many ways to get wits. I say that we're going to pick up peace of mind here inevitably at the boss fight, and then I will feel right silly. Okay, so we can freeze all but one of them, or we could duplatome and then we could freeze all of them. So I think we're gonna do that. Oh, I don't have enough mana to do this. That's fine. We'll just delete those two. Because that one's not doing anything that matters to us. This kills the front one. And there we go. Ooh. Um, read the ice. So in case you're unclear on exactly what's going on here, one of the important things to know is that arcane detonations do more damage if the target is frozen or uh or shocked. We're gonna blood charm because that's gonna give us enough frost. Just do that free. Okay, yeah, so we can just kill this one outright. So let's just do that. They are now thought out. Let's freeze you. Oh, that wasn't quite enough. I wasn't thinking. Or, you know paying any attention to anything, ever. Because that's how I roll. Let's get mana. I think we are going to copy these two. Because the plan here is, you're now frozen. You're now frozen. I'm going to draw four cards. I'm going to draw four more cards. Couple of that AoE from uh, the Aether Mantle. You're dead. And that's a decent place to end the turn. You're dead. You're dead. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. Your services are no longer required. Oh, that's not the thing I meant to click. Um, even though we don't have strikes, the extra arcane detonation damage may be worth it. Although the vulnerable is also pretty nice. I think we take this one. Ooh, so Mystical Bloom is a card that I kind of wanted to try here. Uh, Curse of the Forest is also good, but I think Mystical Bloom is actually going to be more whatever a lot of the time. We, we absolutely are upgrading Frostwave. That's just a card that kind of needs an upgrade. Uh, we do have a lot of very high priority upgrades at this point, which is a bit of a potential problem, but Elemental Conjunction is great for us. It's actually better than Elemental Strike for us. Uh, we are going to start... I would take a Mystic Ritual. I don't think I care about any of the other cards that we can get from these first fights. And I do want to go through that Elite. We do have a reroll, which I probably think we're spending on... Probably Dragon Form, actually. Jeez. Actually, let's Duplatome those two, I think. And then I think we are going to Blood Charm into drawing cards. Right, so now we are adapt. We can shock. Let's see. Is this lethal yet? No. So that going to take away that so that we can do oh that to the, I meant to do it to the front one so whatever will this kill I think so yeah because that's going to be three uh, detonation 20 damage each and then we can just get very close to this kill and pass the turn 
So my decision to cut all of the defensive cards pays off at least when you get the absolute best item you possibly could get on uh, right as you start the run. Um, Blazing Ritual is very hard to pass up, but the chilling focuses are just so good for this deck. I will take the event. Eh, this is actually pretty good. Pierce Plus is pretty nice. Uh, Fair Crime Plus is pretty good, but Keen Contemplation Plus is just so much card draw. Okay. You're now frozen. You're now frozen. And because we got rid of the poison blood, we didn't get any more poison from the extra chilling focuses we played. Let's see. I think this is our blood charm turn. I think we're going to duplatome, get a cave spell, and the frost wave. So I think I want to draw from one of. I want to get mana from one of them. I want to start by getting that gone. So we're just going to have to worry about that poison. Or I should actually do that. Make it vulnerable. So I want to draw skills, and then after that I want to draw other cards, because that will get us mana. We're just going to kill this one off with um, with either fro whatever frocks. Let's get add up. Let's draw three cards. Yeah, just going to kill it with either mantle proc. Just get plus one mana there. This is now doing 34 and counting. Let's go ahead and get this shock out. Okay, so we have some reasonable numbers here. Uh, we have, hey, we have exactly enough mana. There we go. Ooh, Witching Blast. Love to see it. I do want to upgrade it at some point. Lucky Die isn't my favorite um, card draw trinket, but it is a card draw trinket, which we really want to have. Okay. So, I was gonna, the nice thing here is that we don't actually, I was going to see about moving stuff around and then I realized I can just do this and it's fine. I was gonna see about like using trinkets to get more value, but you don't need to. No, we should just do that. So because this has Arcane Weakness on it, uh, Arcane Detonation is going to do 40 damage. And Contemplate. I could have taken the Gathering Bolt. That would have actually also been pretty reasonable. Um, I think, yeah, we're taking this. Because that should be often mana and card draw. We won't get the burn portion, but that's the least important part. You want to freeze us. Let's do that. I'm sorry, but uh, freezing things is what we do. Get some mana. And then we can just do another detonation for value. We're going to keep that. I don't think we want to use that uh, frost up yet. Or that, yeah, that shocked up yet. So we're going to do that. We're going to pitch. And I don't think we need to predict. No, we're not add up yet. We do want to be add up. There we go. It's actually, I suppose I could have just gotten more shocked out. Whatever. Um, throw more cards. Ooh. Hmm. So the man here is a little bit awkward because I want to get this out, but I don't want to use any of my trinkets. Which is what I'm going to have to do. Uh, we're going to do that and just hope that we draw mana. Could have checked if we had mana. But where's the fun in that? I'm absolutely playing kind of sloppy, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oop. 
wouldn't matter. Elemental Conjunction? Uh, I do want to try Shattering Strike, but Elemental Conjunction seems very, very good for our deck. Uh, Arcane Torrent is also very good. So the upgrade, the Elemental Conjunction Plus is very good. Um, that's actually just kind of crazy. That's probably the pick. I do really want Witching Blast Plus, but Elemental Conjunction Plus is just some nonsense. So that's the upgrade. And as far as removals go, I think we are good to keep moving. Maybe the Predict needs to go. Uh, event or this fight. We don't really care about either of those. I think we just take the event because there's a chance it could be a Chimera. Uh, we'll go here. This is a strike, inexplicably, uh, right now, uh, which is in that category of not quite a bug, but definitely not really intended. Let's start by blowing you up. I guess we'll just draw six. Oh, that's not a... In my head, that was a skill. That's fine. I'll just pitch some things. I should have pitched the read the ice. Okay. Let's see. If I copy this, I can kill two of them, but I can kill two of them anyway. Because I can only copy that once. Okay, let's just bonk you off. You're going to take 40 damage. <laughs> because of our uh, Arcane Torrent. We're gonna draw six cards and get a bunch of mana. We can't actually do damage to this one because it is it does have evade. We can't do damage to it outright. Obviously we can do plenty of damage to it. Goodbye. I don't think we need another Witching Blast. I don't think we can quite afford it because we keep taking these mana cards that only give us two mana. Um, I think I would take the Mystic Ritual still. It's a one in four chance, but... I maybe should have just gone after the uh, whatever thing. You know, the stuff. My brain, as usual, is deserting me in this, in this my hour of triumph. <laughs> Uh, you're frozen now. Oh, I should have started with this one so that I could get, um, so that I could play, because I need an Arcane Detonation on this before I can target other things. But this will work. And now this will draw us four cards. Uh, do we want to copy this? I think so. Okay, we'll start with this, which will delete that one. That's unfortunate. And this does 26 arcane, which is enough to kill, I think. Yeah, because of the arcane torrent. Oh, not even because of the arcane torrent, just straight up one shot. going to explode. 50 damage. Goodbye. Alright. Um, I do like Demonic Greed. I do like Icy Chains. I think we're taking the Demonic Greed because we're just kind of all in on this card draw nonsense. Ooh. So, stay and observe. And we're going to fight <laughs> the first secret boss. This is the one that was in before last patch. Um, that's not actually what I want to do. I want to use this. We are, I think we want to lucky die so we could potentially get this freeze off. I 
think we're going to pitch those. Yeah, one more. We can then shop for value. Or shock value. Yeah, we need we need more mana cards that actually generate a decent amount of mana. It's definitely a problem for us right now. Kinda not playing that. So this will get us mana and draw us a bunch of cards. It's like um, that one card I love, but better. Okay, let's get Adept up. And at this point, we can go ahead and do that, which is a decent amount of damage. And it's an okay turn one. And it's still frozen. Oh. So, once this thing pops, we get uh, new friends who I believe come in, unfortunately and very rudely, with. Um, So we're going to have to chew through that before we can start freezing them, which is annoying, but I don't really want to use this yet because I don't want to pop this yet this turn, I think. I'm just going to do that to get more adept up and I'm going to end the turn. And now we're going to try and get the kill relatively early this turn. Hey, it was actually burning because of our burning focus, and that's what killed it. I wasn't expecting it to die. It took me a moment to realize what had happened. Okay, they don't start with purity. They just get purity. Or maybe that was the last stage that was supposed to get purity, and it just didn't because we, uh, we did a murder. I think we may just duplicate these two. Draw some cards. Get some mana. Okay. That's just gonna be at this point. So we do want to shock them. So we want to get maximum damage on these detonations. Which we only get the full damage on the ones that are doubled which we don't get that many double damage things, but we get enough. And this is now 61, that seems okay. And now we just have the uh, dragonfly left. Pop and pop. Straw. And this should kill. Damage, which is a singularity worth of damage, which seems pretty good. Ooh, um, Shattering Strike is actually very tempting. I think we actually do take Shattering Strike. I think it could actually do good work for us here. And I think we take Berserker Axe. No, we take, I mean, none of this really matters. I think we actually just discard it. I don't think we actually care about any of that. Like, those are all reasonable items. It's just they don't line up with the nonsense we are specifically doing right now. So one thing, of course, with this particular fight is that we want to get this shock barrier going. I'm trying to think in terms of what we would discard to this lucky die. I think we discard those. It's possible I should have just not risked it and just played the... Um, yeah, I should just play the shocking grasp and get enough out of that lucky die. Barrier down again. Okay. I'm not sure if we want to shattering strike. Okay, I think we do. So I think we do that first, which is going to. Hmm, I thought we needed 
less than that to get. I may uh, regret my decision. Do both of those. Okay, no, we're good. Exactly, we're exactly good. Um, we we're very close to not being good. And now we are not good, which is unfortunate. But we do 92 damage, so. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow Strike was a mistake against bosses. Makes our demonic greed way better, but I think we have to just take the cursed apple. And I think we cut the shattering. Well, yeah, I think we cut the shattering strike. I don't think we need it. And then, who are we we're fighting, Ma? I don't think it matters a ton. We're gonna go through here just for the mana card, and then we can hit two events up top to try and hit the other secret boss. who I haven't fought on stream yet, so I want to. But yeah, so Cursed Apple is basically just draw three. Because we heal ten and then we spend nine of that on drawing, so. When this one hashes, it's going to be annoying. Let's Get add up. Oh, we already have add up, so let's just do that. Yeah, we need more big mana cards. Uh, that and that and that. Yeah, we aren't going to be able to play Dragon Form, unfortunately. Oh, we totally can, actually. Maybe? Yes. But we can't play Dragon Form and also Shocking Grasp. Wait, I lied again. We can. Just put that in front of it. And now this does 35 Arcane. Let's do that to kill you. We'll get you very close to dead, and then you'll just burn out. And then we can get some additional arcane detonations over here. And you turn. Shocking grasp at this point. So we'll go and do that. We can get more powerful, which is always nice. We should be dealing with this um, this fortress as quickly as we can because it just reduces the amount of random extra shield that is generated. Although obviously I don't think it's a huge concern. And we could kill it, but I think we want to wait until next turn so that we can have resources available to freeze the um, friend that shows up. Kill you and shock you and then freeze you and blow up your uh, frenzy. Finally, actually playing that for the card draw. I mean, that's what it does, it draws cards, it doesn't do anything else. I don't know why I bother specifying that we're doing it for the card draw. We can do a solid amount of damage. 
should have applied vulnerable to it. I don't know why I didn't. I can do that now. I think this is going to be our last for one way or the other. There we go. Uh, Spark actually seems very good for us. And yeah, we'll go here. So this guy has to get frozen, but fortunately, um, that's not a problem. Let's pop you. And then we can Cursed Apple to draw some cards. One of those where the turn isn't particularly overwhelming, but it doesn't matter because uh, we don't need to be overwhelming, we just need to be good enough. And we are easily good enough. Discard everything that isn't these two because those are the two I want to play. Going to duplication those two. So, one of the nice things here is that um, not only does that give us mana, that um, deals damage, and we just, just all over the place are winning. Uh, I do really like Frozen Rift, but I think we need the Hunter's Focus. This one, we need to pop off the uh, purity, which may take me a while to figure out how I'm going to do that, but we'll figure it out. Do that. The important thing was freezing this one because of the opportunist. Okay, so this will, unfortunately the arcane weakness will get eaten by Security. So we do still get to pop off one of those plated stacks, and overall I think that works out pretty well. We still get to freeze here. Okay. I do really want to play uh, this dragon form, so we are going to clear space in hand to find some mana. This will shock, which will turn on the dragon form, so that we can get some power. And it's going to play even more shock. And that's going to not quite force a shuffle. I think we want to draw those cards next turn. So let's just pop you a couple times, get rid of your plated. And pop you wants to just get some damage out. This seems like a good duplatome turn. Okay. Let's do that. Let's delete you. Pop you for a bunch of damage. This doesn't actually delete you, just gives us a bunch of mana, but that's fine. And like a mana eruption, if we hadn't been offered it against um, dragon form, I would have taken a mana eruption that would have solved our problems with um, mana. But that is what we were offered it against, and uh, dragon form is just too good not to take. So we took it. this out. And Frostwave Lethal. Reroll, take the clear focus. We just need the mana. Uh, we aren't taking the maximum hand size penalty, and we aren't, especially because we're not playing our spells. 
the curse horseshoe I think is too big of a downside but it also can potentially save us so I think we're going to do this swap out oh and we have the clear focus so that's a way to deal with it I think the predict we don't need because it is mana but it is only one mana that turn which is just not much uh, upgrade a card so we have a lot of good upgrades still um, I think hmm this is just so much arcane um, I think adaptative spell might be the upgrade or read the ice I think it's read the ice just makes it so much better in fights against only one or two enemies So we're going to draw a bunch of cards to get Adept, and then we can immediately just freeze out this back one so it's not a problem anymore. And like the early game, um, getting the Aether Mantle was what put us over the top, but there are so many plus status items that even even though the Aether Mantle damage has helped in some cases, I think even with just like a, a plus two status item, we would have been doing just fine. All of our mana. Oh, right, because that's not... For a second I was like, wait, why is Resolute Focus on? Resolute Focus was not the card I was looking at. Oh, uh, we should get mana. Go ahead and get the Mighty. And then... Just do this for... The card draw and the Mystical Bloom. Um, I think we are going to draw cards, partially because that's just going to get us even more growth. Okay. Do we do this, or do we do the other two? I think we do the other two. Oh, this draws us so many cards. And now we'll play this for 38 Arcane. Which is a pretty good amount. Look at all this value. Look at it. It's beautiful. Goodbye. More shock, so why not? Vulnerable. Let's go ahead and use the first horseshoe. Pop and pop and pop. And there we go. Let's see what we get out of this. Um, Ravis Intent is whatever. I kind of like the icy chains. It's just a way to ensure if the maw fight goes along that we have a way to, to lock it down. I'm starting to think we may not actually need um, Witching Blast. It's pretty expensive and we are struggling to play it a lot. Um, but it's so good. We're, we're fine. This deck is fine. We're good. I should probably have cut the Witching Blast. Okay, so... The goal here is to prevent this friend from ever being able to... Let's check. Okay, that bug is fixed. Prevent this friend from ever being able to actually uh, summon anything. easy enough to do. The Pierce also maybe should go because I keep not well, no, because it's just this specific turn that I didn't want to burn the shock on it. Normally we're fine. So source two. Get that freeze out. Get more cards. Alright, we can we don't have space in hand. Hold all these cards we're going to draw. Is that what, 80 damage? Reasonable.
Um. And then we will just, let me think, this will do a decent amount. Let's draw some cards. Um. Hmm. Deciding what I do. I think I did play that. Get some that 50 damage detonation. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use this and see what we can find. Okay, we aren't going to be able to play the dragon form. But we can Mystical Bloom. A good amount. So yeah, because the Mystical Bloom would do... See, it's 80% of 56. 50, so it's, eight, it's 40, so it's... Yeah, it's like 40-something base, which would then be plus 30%, which would be another... Um, it would do probably like 50 Arcane there, I think, roughly. I don't know, math is hard, and find also this fight relatively quickly. Uh, we are now at the point where... And this is kind of where the Mothite is going to end up, where we can end up in this position where we are very glad we have things that actually just do damage to help us actually end the fight. Ooh, mana eruption, that's great. That helps a lot with our mana issues. Doubling Spyglass, because we have Dragon Form. And then we upgrade, I think we do want to upgrade the Mystical Bloom, because I think that will do a lot. And then we move on. And yeah, I think we're just going to take event two events. See if we can find um, value that way. Okay. So we are going to Spyglass the Dragon Form. We did that first to get this off. And then we're going to Frost Rays so that we can't opportunist us. Oh, I should have Duplatomed the Dragon Form for even more value. Oh no, what am I going to do? We are going to Duplatome this because it's very funny. And I think just one of the Aftershocks. So these now will give us even more value. Just going to draw this. These guys cannot do anything to hurt us. Go ahead and do that. Which will do all of this nonsense. Draw some parts. Yeah, we need to get Adept set up. So now this is 78 Arcane, which seems like a reasonable number. And the thing is, because we have two of them, we get two growth every time we play a card. Which is a reasonable amount of growth to get every time you play a card. I think we can all agree on that. Bye. And this should, if not delete you, at least keep you very close to dead. But I think it's just death. <coughs> And 100 for Arcane. Goodbye. Just doing reasonable things. Um, Precarious Rock for the mana. We might take some damage from it, but who cares. Um, normally this is very good, but hitting exact zero can be difficult for us. Skill Grimoire, uh, we do have a couple actual spells, and that will clean up some stuff in terms of letting us finish our sentences um, in terms of just like dealing with that that uh, poison source I picked up let's pitch <laughs> guess the pierce I think we are going to do that with freeze and then we are going to curse apple and rely on that to get us somewhere Okay, we do want to shock this front one. Oh, we got rid of... Um, I'm now regretting my deci decision to get rid of um, that other thing. Okay, there we go. Draws three cards. Yeah. This will freeze all of them and draw us a full hand. And then we can. See, we do really want to shock something. We need space in hand is the problem. Which, nothing that we have will get us more space in hand. 
Ooh, maybe we do this. I'm gonna pitch that. And that. And that. Should we pitch the witching blast? Okay, there we go. Because we want to shock things. We want to dragon form. And then we want to duplatome the free dragon form. And I think the elemental conjunction. We need to get a card out of hand. To make space for these after shock. And then we have to draw a mana card so that we can have more space in hand. There we go. So that we can play this. Although I do kind of want to get this out so we can have Edda. Okay. We then dumpster you with our full hand. We dumpster you. Again, our hand is just impossibly full of cards. Just finish you off because that would also get us some mana back. And then we can do 101 arcane. Does that seem like a good number? That seems like an okay number. Um. Didn't need you. You were deemed unnecessary. We can get 24 mana from that. Which will give us the detonations we need to finish that one off. Sure, why not? I don't think we're going to be able to get the kill this turn. We're just too, uh, we're too deeply uh, frozen or uh, fatigued. It's not going to kill, but it's going to do good work. Drawing us back into the dragon form. We are at 15 powerful. And there we go. Alright. Um, Mind Blast. That's a win condition. Because we didn't have a win condition yet. We, you cannot have our cursed apple. We need that. And you need to die. So you watch, first apple, ours. There's some shock applied. Go ahead and pop here, draw some cards. Okay, it's time for this to happen. Let's see. We'd like to find Mystic Bloom, but it looks like that's not in the cards. So I guess we're just gonna play this. There we go, there it is. deletes you. This does major damage, but doesn't kill you. Now that's lethal. Go ahead and get 12 mana. It's only 31 damage. It's not amazing. And we'll just do that. Probably end up taking another turn. But never mind. That's good enough. There's evil. And do I just take another chilling focus? Of course I just take another chilling focus. I could probably cut one at this point, but eh. Um Nah, I'm lazy. We're just gonna start. Don't even need to rest. 
You, you're under arrest. All right, so that turns that on. We have no space in hand. We can get a shock out. We can curse horse you. We are probably going to end up uh, first apple on here as well. Okay. Uh, we have just enough space in hand. I don't have enough space in hand to play it again. Hmm. So I think I'm going to lucky die, even though this isn't, strictly speaking, uh, the most useful thing to do. Because it is going to block up the hand completely. But I want to be able to... Duplatum, these two for value. So with that, clear up space for the aftershocks. There we go. And so this is going to get more and more mana out as we get more growth, which we get every time we get an arcane detonation. And every time that we play a card. Because we are now at. Yeah, 65 max mana. So for every four times we gain max mana, so for every two cards we play, mana rough can give us an extra mana. Which seems okay. This is going to give us nine shield because of uh, that other thing we have. I think we play this because that's going to get us yeah, a lot of extra mana. Let's go ahead and do 151 damage there. That seems okay. And then I think we are going to Visions of Frost and then just play both of our Mystic Blooms. Good. We get a little bit of growth. And so that was, I think, yeah, that was turn one. You can tell because it's still at 15 Frost. And then it's just going to immediately refreeze. going to do not enough damage. Fortunately, Spark doesn't have to be the thing that does the shock. The enemy just has to be shocked. <laughs> That's 20 Frost through uh, the halving. Oh, no, it's only 10 through the halving. It doesn't actually update properly. Oh, that's a shame. I was really excited. Um, I, we're still doing nonsense. It's fine. And we can do 77 damage, getting close to the win. Okay, we don't have enough to do both things that I want to do here. Enough mana, that is. So I wanted to do Visions of Frost into Elemental Conjunction. That's fine. 85 damage out of that. 31 mana out of this. Um. So this is now, what, 151 Arcane? That seems totally reasonable. And then we can, we can do that. So we get Mighty. So we just have a kill with the Mind Blast. But I want to get out more detonations. And then, yeah, we'll just finish off with this Mind Blast for 291 damage. So that is Jazz Hands. It still works. Um, the Aether Mantle is obviously why it was completely busted this run. But even without that, uh, we, did, we did some shenanigans. We did some nonsense.
So uh, I hope you enjoyed this look at that deck. And I will see you guys next time. Probably next video is the new and changed cards. Unless, that's the next video I'm going to record, but I may upload it sooner. Because um, I want to show that off. See you guys then. Toodles.